Good morning, my beautiful Twin Flames. This is Karen from Mana Delight. I want to thank you all for listening, um, for watching my channel, for your support of my channel, for liking, subscribing, and sharing my videos. Uh, I greatly appreciate all those that book readings with me um, and who do purchase our um our helpful webinars and get our activation calls you all are the bomb.com so appreciate you and it's so crucial because um jen and i know for sure that we've been placed in this position um to teach and lead and um like I was saying the other day, how we balance each other out, um, it really is, it's good because there's aspects that I bring and there's aspects that she brings to it. And we, even though we've had similar experiences in our life, um, because, you know, we're twins and um, we're not twin flames, but I'm saying we're twins. So we're from the same soul group for sure. And... Um, so we've had similar experiences in our life, but, you know, we set up that we were, that we would team up and that we would be leaders and, um, way showers and healers within this community. And it's wonderful when other twins really start responding to the teachings and the information that you are providing, um, Jen and I are direct source beings and um, both have worked really hard to clear any distortions out of our field um, and we've both released so much fear um, that we can boldly go forward. So um, I know for, for me for sure, but I can feel for Jen as well just based on her last video that we're really going to start tackling some of the tougher issues. Um, me for sure. And I just say me for sure, because I know that that's my personality. My personality is that, um, I'm blunt and honest and truthful. And I feel like the truth is what matters. Honesty and integrity is extremely important to me. And I've always been truthful. And I've never been afraid to speak the truth. Never been afraid to tell it like it is. Never been afraid to um, set somebody straight. Now, you know, of course, that would cause conflict in, um, in my everyday life, as you know, I was growing up or, you know, whatever, teenage, high school and beyond, you know, like in a work environment or whatever, because number one, people don't want to um, face the truth. So they definitely don't want to hear it. Okay, so that's just a given. And when you have somebody who makes you see yourself, you immediately feel um, judged, you know, like if you if if you resonate to what they're saying and be like, damn, she just seen me. She just sees me for exactly what I am um, or, or what I'm doing. Um. And then, then there's that, that shame that kind of comes up with it. And, you know, you don't really want to see that. That's why the twin flame journey is so difficult. And because when you are faced with someone who is your direct mirror and showing you all your ails, you know, we tend to run in the other direction. And so it's difficult. Um so that's the way my personality has always been, you know, and, um, 
And I've always faced those things too when it came time within myself that needed to be dealt with. It took some time for me to get to that place because that's just human nature where we want to deny things. We want to push things away. We don't want to deal with things. We don't want to see the truth. It's easier to follow the crowd and it's easier to believe the lie. So, um, but that's my personality. And another one is, is that I have released so much fear. I'm so standing in my power. I'm so not judging myself. I don't allow anyone else to judge me. And I've set that intention. That I'm not going to be um, in fear. I'm just not going to be in fear. So I don't care about the repercussions because really and truthfully, there are no repercussions. If you are, if your intention is to fulfill your soul's mission, and that is to be um, a teacher, that doesn't mean that I nitpick. And that doesn't mean that I come out and do harsh videos um, and try to set everybody straight. Very rarely will you see a video like this from me, but when there's an issue that is being uh, that comes up that is I can use and as example to teach you um, the right way and the way that um, you should be going instead of staying in fear or st instead of holding on to a belief system that's just not going to work where we're going. All old belief systems are not going to work where we're going. So when I see that opportunity, I come on here and I will boldly call it out without the fear of repercussions because there are no repercussions. There is no judgment for me, period. I don't accept judgment on my life. There is no judge and jury and no one is judging me. My soul's mission and path is to be a teacher within the Twin Flame community, a leader and a way shore within the Twin Flame community, and also locally, and not just for twins locally, but for, and not just twins on YouTube, um, but for all, and to create awareness. Awareness is key because the when you get the information and you're made aware, it begins to you're aware. So you've acknowledged it. So just the fact that you now see it or are attempting to see it because of the recognition, then you are able to um, change that. And uh, the information alone begins to break that down. And then your higher self will then start facilitating you healing from from something. So that's why the um, the webinars are so crucial and our activation calls. Our activation calls are really mini webinars because there's that information and that awareness there. And shout out and kudos to the to the feminine who watched my reading who actually heeded the call to release the old feminine template and have, have bought that webinar. It is crucial to you moving forward in union is releasing that old relationship paradigm as well as any other paradigms which I'm not going to talk about the old feminine paradigm that webinar is out there and it is packed full of information and it has a healing and releasing webinar or meditation excuse me at the end of the webinar and so it's crucial and it's not only talking about the old feminine template that is in place for all humanity, but we've added the twin flame aspect to it where it's including that you're a twin in it. And it already and so then this webinar and healing was created by two twins. So not only is the twin flame energy within the webinar in the meditation. It's going to assist you. Our souls then are going to be there assisting you throughout that process. A higher aspect of ourself, which I know this is lost on so many, but it's where we're headed, so I'm speaking on it. Um, 
a higher aspect of ourselves who have facilitated the healing within us of releasing this old feminine is then going to help facilitate you. This is how it works. Someone walks the path ahead of you and heals this. And since we are leaders and way showers, we walk the path of healing something all the work's done the healing's there you just have to receive it and that's what we have set up for you within our um, webinars and when there's a, an event that comes up and we love to use the lunar cycle so that's why the full and new moon calls are available we use that aspect and then we put that in our activation calls and it creates that awareness and all of the calls are coded with um, information creating awareness for you and with healing so the issues that are discussed it starts beginning to be facilitated for you so they're highly beneficial um and we we just put that out there and those that can see it like i said hats off to you um, because you've seen it and you actually um, took it. You know, it's like somebody's offering you a hand. This is going to help you. And it's not because I need the money. I want the money. It's none of those things. I know that the universe provides every need. It took some time for me to do that, but I had to be stretched out so financially far where I had one foot on a two by four hanging off of a cliff and I had to face that fear. So picture me one foot on my tippy toes on a two by four stretched out 20 feet off of a cliff. And so I got my arms out and I'm trying to balance myself and there's that fear Oh my God, I have no money. Oh my God, what's going to happen to me? Oh my God, I'm going to fall. That was scary. Because all of our security is in money. Okay? So, that had to be released. It had to be broken down. And so, in doing that, I really was able to see how the universe provided for me. Nothing ever happened. Nothing ever happened. If I was to teeter on one side, there was the universe to push me back up. I was not going to fall ever, and I had to realize that. I had to come to realize that even though I'm teetering out on that two by four, I'm not ever going to fall because they're not going to ever let me fall off of there. But it's facing that fear. Okay? So in doing that, I know that my needs are going to be provided for as I continue to do the work that I need to do for the universe. And as, as I'm doing my mission and helping twin flames and helping all humanity by creating awareness, by healing, by helping you along your journey, by guiding you and offering clarity and everything that I do, the universe will provide for me. It's because... There needs to be an energy exchange, first of all, because there needs to be value placed on what I am doing, and you need to value it as well, and there needs to be an energy exchange. I'm not out trying to hustle you um, for money. I'm saying, here's my hand. This is what I've healed. Here's my hand. This can help you. Can you will you take it? If I offer it to you for free, you're not going to value it. That's why that's set in place. You're not going to value it. If somebody says, okay, here's a free, here's a free teaching. Nine times out of 10, you're going to shut it off halfway through because it's free. You don't put any value on it. If you paid for it. You're going to suck every little last bit of juice out of it that you can get because you paid for it. So you value it. That is another reason why this is put in place. That there has to be a monetary value put on 
our energy that is expended. That's why there has to be an energy exchange. It can't just be freely given. There has to be some energy exchange. And Jen and I have always put out there that if you can't afford anything, we are more than happy to do a barter system for you. We had a lady who wanted to do um, one of the calls and couldn't afford it. And we said, okay, refer three people to it that are actually going to um, to purchase and watch and yours is free. That was an even energy exchange to us. So these, these are our hands that are reaching out to you and we're saying this is what I can see. This is what I'm being shown that you need right now. Like the old feminine that I was talking about. Here's the hand. Are you going to take the hand that's trying to help you? Or are you going to judge because there's a price added to it? And this is the, and here we are finally, I don't know what minute we're on, but here we are finally to the meat of this video. And that is about your giving and your receiving. And I've talked about it before and I'm really hoping it sinks in now. And I'm really hoping that at this point in time, many of you are now ready to release that old belief system. The old belief system that says that it's better to give than to receive. The old belief system that says it's wrong to accept money. The old belief system that says you shouldn't charge for spiritual services. All of that, all of that old belief system has to go. And if you think that it's wrong, then you are still judging an aspect of yourself. So you're still in judgment which means you're still in fear because that's what judgment does. It, it tells you that there's a consequence and that there's a repercussion. And I've already explained that there are no repercussions and there is no judgment. And therefore, I don't accept any judgment. That's why I don't accept anybody judging me beneath in the comments of my videos. What are the repercussions? The repercussions are that you're going to stop following me you're going to unsubscribe. You're going to go talk about me. You're going to have a conversation about how off you think I am. You're the one that's judging me. So then you have to deal with that. That's on your plate. It's not on mine. You deal with your judgment of me. Do I care if you unsubscribe and go and talk about me and get other people to unsubscribe? because I'm in receptivity mode or I've done something wrong I, I have no fear of that give me 10 subscribers that actually value and listen to what I'm saying find value in it and are ready to join me on this journey to the fifth dimension and beyond to their union. It doesn't affect me. Oh, you're not going to buy a reading from me so you think I'm going to go under? No, I've already been on that two by four, remember? So there is no fear there. One thing is for sure. Balancing into your giving and receiving is crucial for you to come into union. If you cannot receive money or you are still judging the money aspect, then you can't receive love. Love and money are the same energy. That's why all of these lessons are happening regarding money, finances, security. Love and money is the same energy. If you cannot accept money, 
or you judge those that do accept money, you're not ready for love. And that's just plain down truth. And I'm not afraid to say it and put it out there. So you have to be in receptivity mode. Okay? Because if you cannot receive, you're not going to step into it. That means you're still holding on to a belief system and you're still holding on to fear and judgment. You're not stepping into union like that. I'm sorry. It's just not going to happen. You're judging others and you're judging yourself. That's not unity conscious at all. So I'm a li- I'm a little heated about it, but you know, I know that I'm I'm bold enough to come out and say it cuz it needs to be said. Um I don't appreciate those that do try to judge me because I am in receptivity mode because I know that it is something that I had to let go of. I know it's something that you're going to have to let go of. And I know it's hard for us. That's why that lesson is in place. That's why in this lifetime, we are required to come into balance with this. Because in past lifetimes, we've give, 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 ended up dead and who saved the world? Who saved Atlantis? Nobody. Because we gave, 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 and never was able to ever receive. So this time, it's set in place that we were going to come into balance so that we don't give all of ourself away. It's wonderful to give. I love to give. It's one of those things that is joyous, but I know that I cannot outgive my receiving ever. It must stay in balance. If you don't see it, this way and you still have a problem with anybody charging for services anyone promoting their spiritual business or anyone asking for donations you're in judgment of those that are receiving money until money is no longer an energy exchange It is an acceptable form of energy. When the money system breaks down, which I do believe it will, then whatever is the acceptable energy that we are working within that dimension, then that will be the acceptable form of energy at that time. But right now, right here, In this time frame, it is money. And money is not evil. So, um, this should spur you on to look at that aspect of yourself. And if you are still judging it, as so many still are. And that just means you're not in your union space. Because you ha- you haven't fully let go of everything that you need to let go of, so you can't walk into your union space, and this will this will prevent many from actually stepping into their union place. Like I've said before, when it knocks on your door, you can have nothing hanging on you. You have to be able to be free to walk out that door. That's why all of this has to go. So I would encourage you to dive in and check and see if you still judge that aspect. And if so, why? Was this a vow of poverty that you've taken in a past life? Is this something that you picked up in this lifetime through some sort of religion? Or do you just not value yourself enough to ask? It's just like somebody who gives you a gift and you think, oh my God, I got to run out and give them a gift. Instead of just accepting the gift and saying, thank you so much. 
I do deserve that. I am worth that gift. I love it. Thank you. Shower me with gifts. I deserve it. I love myself. Or do you run out and go get them another gift because you don't really deserve it and so you've got to even the score? That's another clue that you are not in receptivity mode. You receive love because you know you deserve it. You draw love to you because you know you are love and lovable and you're worthy and you deserve it. And you stand fully in your power in this knowledge, in this self-love. My God, if you're on this journey and haven't heard the word self-love or self-worth yet, where have you been? This is the crucial lesson. Put yourself first. Yeah, I'd love to do that reading for you. However, I need that good old energy exchange. Because I need to meet my needs. I can't go to the store and say, hey, um, yeah, I um I got all these groceries here and I promise at some point like I'll be back. Will you just accept my smile? And my good looks to pay for this? Or do I actually have to go in my purse and get money out to pay them? Yes, I still do need to do that. So that's what is required. That is the energy exchange. So I wanted to put that out there because, you know, naturally there's those that still judge it. And, um, you know, unfortunately we run across those individuals, uh, even twin flames, who still are holding on to that old belief system. And so this was me shedding some light on that old belief system and how crucial it is that you release that. Um, and how crucial it is that you balance into your receiving um, so that you can accept love and your union. It's all about the self-worth aspect and it's about not being in, in fear. So crucial part of the journey and um, a tough talk. A tough talk, but it, it you know it has to be addressed. If, if I don't tell you, if I don't bring this awareness to you, you know, then you continue going on. And then, you know, we've got this follow the leader type crap that goes on. Where one says, I just absolutely do not resonate with those that um, are still asking for uh, money for spiritual services. We should be freely giving those spiritual services. And then you get... Um, Tom, Dick, and Harry, and um, Luella, and Trixie, all to follow you, and say the same thing. You know, I don't resonate with that either. And so then you have this little clique of people that um, are following the leader. That's not standing in your power. That's not you owning yourself. That's not you stepping out and being the individual that you came here to be, standing in your power. That's you following the leader like a sheep. So, <laughs> happy Wednesday. It's called Wisdom Wednesday. Woo woo. Yes, here's some truth and some wisdom for you and some facts. And um, I hope that it has shed some light where you can kind of look and see, you know, I do still judge that. 
you know, we, we had another YouTuber where this all played out for her in a very dramatic way on YouTube where she was holding on to an old belief system and absolutely judged herself and could not accept money for services. And it ended in the closing down of a channel that was beneficial to some. And so it was a crash and burn because of a belief system. And if you want brand new, okay, if you want brand new earth, fifth dimension, brand new divine love, if you really want to step into that, you have to let go of all of this old. And it's old. It's absolutely old. It's not going. We can't take it with us. So it has to go. That belief system has to go. You have to balance into your receptivity mode and receive because you deserve it because you love yourself you're worthy of this you're worthy of the gifts that are being handed to you by the universe through others you deserve it you're doing a fabulous job you're doing a great job pats on the back and hats off we've been walking a very difficult journey and we're here we're here. In any second now, it's coming in. And you're going to be asked to step through that door. If you have anything shackling you down or tied to your ankles or your waist or your wrists, you can't walk through that door. So free yourself of these old belief systems. And this is one that you can start with is this old belief system that it's wrong. It's not wrong. And there is no judgment placed on it. And I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it anymore. I can't, I can't see it. Once, once you accept it, once you accept the fact that it's not wrong, and that you shouldn't be judging it, you can't go back to understanding why it was an issue in the first place. <laughs> why was it ever wrong to receive? Who put that in order? It wasn't the divine. Let's just put it like that. It's the opposite of the divine. The divine's love and so it's fear. And let me add this little tidbit here at the end. If any video that you're watching incites fear in you, stop watching it. If it makes you scared, don't watch it. If it's telling you some disaster or something's going to happen don't watch it because that's not that's not the divine that's not a message from love that's a message from fear and don't accept it there may be a whole nother video about that because there are several videos that incite fear um, instead of showing you the opposite of, of that fear, which is what I'm doing. I'm showing you the opposite of fear and the opposite of judgment. It's love and self-love. Self-love rules out judgment and love rules out fear. And I'm showing you the opposite of that. But if someone makes you scared, like, you know, let's say, oh, what was that one thing that everybody, oh, the replacement. <sighs> okay. Um, a walk-in, a soul swap. That's fear. That makes you scared. You're, you're now in fear mode and waiting for something like that to happen. 
So if there's any of those videos out there, please don't watch them. I've responded to some emails regarding that. So I just, if it makes you scared and it is not empowering you, okay, all of my videos and webinars and teachings and the ones that me and Jen do are all empowering you to stand in your power. If it disempowers you and takes away from the fact that you have an actual choice, that's fear and don't watch it. It's telling you something's going to happen that's out of your control. And so you are disempowered. Always stand in your power and don't allow that. And releasing all this old is going to help you stand in your power more. By actually loving yourself enough to receive is going to empower you more and help you stand in your power. So more videos on empowerment and standing in your power and letting go of old belief systems. And um, number one is the belief system that money is wrong or money is evil and it's not good to receive. Um, so this is number one. I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to be coming out with some more. Um, like I said, to all of you that do see and hear what I'm saying and appreciate what I'm doing, kudos, hats off, love you, you're the bomb.com. You're why I'm here and you're why I continue. To the ones that don't resonate, and don't see it, I wish you well. I honor your choice to move on. That means that you have made the choice, uh, a soul's choice, to um, either continue learning that lesson um, or you're going to get the help that you need from a different teacher. And that's absolutely perfectly fine. It does not affect me, my security, or anything or who I am, it doesn't affect me whatsoever, it does not define me because you do not resonate. And I do wish you well on your journey. Um, so kids, thank you for being here. Thank you for listening. I thank you for all the positive comments. And I am going to get this uploaded. Um, so excited for Friday's full moon call. If you have not subscribed to my email, I'm going to leave that down below. That's how you're going to get the call information. Um, me and, and Jen probably will be sending out the call information. I know I've been asking everybody to sign up for my email so I can send you the call information. So those that are on my channel, just go ahead and subscribe. And then I think Jen already has a list all together um, of those that are going to participate. And um, links are below for um, the webinars. Um, and all my information is below. I'm here if you need me. I love you very much. Namaste.